check to the get that check. Haven't done the videos and haven't done a few videos and I haven't done a video in a few days. I've been going through it, baby. I've been going through it. But I'm not gonna talk about it yet. I will talk about it eventually. Not right now. Right now I'm having some taquitos and Taco Bell. Pretty good. Alright, uh, so. Mmm, that was nice. It's like the Ice Age or something. Turned off on me. So. So let me tell y'all. Um. Let me tell y'all. Um. A lot has happened in the past few days. No, but thankfully, with God on my side, how can they prevail? Right? With God on my side, how can they prevail? You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody watching, subscribing, viewing. Hit that like button. Share this on all your social media. You know what I mean? I was gonna I was gonna talk about what happened to me. But I changed my mind. I'll probably tell y'all another day. So I decided to talk about a story. Mm -hmm. A time when Fat Joe Tragedy to Doppy were not in good terms. You know what I mean? They were not in good terms. And you know how I know? Because the day I shot the New York Gangsters video featuring Tragedy Gaddafi. You told me. Fat Show would hate him right now. He's not feeling him. He explained to me why. Wow. It 
has something to do with like Nori or something like that. And some old school beef. You know what I mean? I mean, I know I've had my situations with Gaddafi, but he's still, in my eyes, he's still a legend, of course. I mean, He's definitely a legend, and um, um, he's a great rapper. I mean, I can never, I can never deny that he's not a good rapper. I mean, to me, he's great. You know what I mean, like he's side by side with Cool G rap. Like, you know what I mean. I don't know why Funkmaster Flex hasn't had Tragedy Gaddafi up on his, um, you know, that spitting. Tra tra tragedy Gaddafi will kill that shit. Flex, that dude, his style's always been dope. Mati, you know what I mean? 25 to life. You know what I'm saying? He just spit this dope. You know what I mean? Anyway. He said, you know, I mean. I remember, I remember in the in the song New York Gangsters. Um, there's a part where um Capone goes, I seen I seen dudes go from boss to fiends. I'm not gonna lie. I think that was a shot at Tragedy Gaddafi. I don't know. I don't know. Because Tragedy, he's first in the song. And then Capone is like towards the middle and the end. You know what I mean? He's, 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 um, he's one or, yeah, he's like, he's like in the middle. The middle, a little, literally, you know what I mean? And he says, I seen, I seen, I seen them just go from boss to fiend. I mean, seen so much paper, my eyes turn green. No, no, that's not how it went. He did say those bars, but they were, he said it in a different way anyway. So what happened was, right? Tragedy said he put in more work in the war report than Capone. I mean, I think that's true. I mean, I don't think that was a diss because Capone, Capone was in jail. Most, 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 most of, uh, of the recording of the album, Capone was in jail, so tragedy had to come in and do it with Nori, right? But, um, but there's this article I was reading. It said, Tragedy Gaddafi. He said, Jay-Z was afraid of me and Nas joining forces. Hey, let's read it. Was Jay-Z afraid of Queensbridge Union, Union during the battle with Nas? Tragedy Gaddafi says yes. Tragedy Gaddafi says yes. I was Scarface, Jay was M Manolo. It hurt me when I had to kill him and his whole squad for Dolo. Rap Nas on Last Ninja Alive. Those bars are represented, represented the guy's son rapper talking on them on then rival Jay-Z and his Rockefeller crew by himself. But when if Nas had joined forces with fellow Queensbridge MC Tragedy Gaddafi for that battle, Tragedy tells Forbes DVD that he believes Jay-Z was afraid that what happened, and he purposely tried to prevent him and Nas from teaming up. I think, dude, this is Tragedy talk. I think dudes fear me and Nas coming together. They really do, and they know who they are. I remember one time somebody told me that Nas said that Jay-Z said I was talking crazy about Nas at a show. 
I was like, what the F was that about? State's tragedy. I believe Jay probably did say that. It's dawning on me like, this ninja got that little rock movement going on and then he sees us doing little ish together. So he's probably like, I can't let these dudes come together like that. These dudes will crush our shit. During the sit down tragedy also discussed his role in the so-called East Coast, West Coast beef and the New York response track LALA with Mob Deep and Capone and Noriega. The intelligent hoodlum says he approached Fat Joe about contributing to a counterattack of the Dog Pound's <clears throat> New York, New York song and video. But Joe was not interested in taking sides. I, he, Tragedy says, I called Fat Joe and I was very disappointed, says Tragedy. I'm not going to, I, I'm not going to say Joe is soft because I don't really believe that, honestly. What I will say is I guess he felt it wasn't pol politically correct for him at that time. I do believe that Suge Knight had a part to play in some of the other brothers I reached out to. Because he was running around and he was shaking shit down. Apparently, a Prodigy verse was removed from LLA and Nas declined to be on the record as well. Tragedy states Esco did not want to be on the track because he was not feeling my deep at the time. Bro. That's some ish. And I remember when we were shooting the video, Tragedy told me that Fat Joe was mad at, mad at him. He was pissed off. I think it has something to do with um with Nori. And you know how you know how um cute um you know how um uh, how can I say this as an example? You know how uh Fat Joe, right? You don't like Cuban Link. You know what I mean? Nori won't mess with Cuban Link because of Fat Joe. Right? Fat Joe has that same loyalty towards Nori. So he wasn't messing with tragedy for a while because of Nori. Nori and tragedy was having situations but they resolved it, they squashed it, you know what I mean? And, um, and um, you know, after that, they took pictures together and, you know, they, they was all good. But I remember him, lit, like, like he was rolling with us that night. He jumped in the car. We met in Queensbridge, he jumped in the car. He took us to the chicken spot. We went and got some Hennessy. He took us to a studio in Corona. Um, we, uh, we was chilling with Willie Stubbs. Willie Stubbs called Juju, you know what I mean? I should have recorded all of this. I mean, I recorded some of it. I'm gonna put it in the documentary, Heck Tech documentary. I'm gonna put it, I'm working on it, you know what I'm saying? I got bits and pieces of everybody who, who recorded, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, you know, everybody who was on, on that song, you know what I'm saying? I got footage of Chris Rivers, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got footage of Ray's. Uh, um, I got some, some, I got footage of Tragedy and Willie Stubbs talking at the, you know, and um, Capone smoking the blunts. I might just put that all together and like make a documentary with some other stuff in it. You know, other other rappers I've kicked it with in studio sessions and you know what I mean? Like Mr. Hyde, that was a dope se session with Mr. Hyde and um, uh, you know, just concerts I've gone to and <clears throat> shows I've rocked. I'm just put everything together in one big documentary and put it out. Maybe this year, you know what I mean? It's a lot of footage, so I gotta take my time with it. But yeah, I remember us chilling that day. It was a nice day, it was nice and hot. 
um, it was the spring. It was like April, March, March and April. It, it, it was nice out, you know what I'm saying? And um, and um, I remember Willie Stubbs calling Juju, Juju on the phone because Willie Stubbs come from the Beat Nuts camp. You know what I mean? Beat Nuts. You know Juju, Psycho Less. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's where Willie Stubbs came from. And he had that hit song, Pimpin' Ain't Easy. Pimpin' Ain't Easy. I bet y'all don't remember that. He had that 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 that, that classic song with Cuban A. Oh. That was a successful song. You know? Let me take back what I said about Cuban A never being successful. He, he, he did have some hits, you know what I'm saying? He had that DJ Honda song, which I still like. You know what I mean? That DJ Honda song. Um, you know he had he had songs out there, man. And Gaddafi, Gaddafi had Gaddafi oh, had some. He Gaddafi got a song with Big Pun and Cannabis. Brace yourself before you get yourself laced, yo. I'm feeling that. I'm not gonna lie, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling that. Facts. Facts to the cataracts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to my underwear? Yo, so. Uh, so, yeah. So, I remember track. He was all chilling, he called Juju. Juju was talking to um to tragedy and tragedy was like, yo, we need to do something, we need to work. You know? And and I remember that day tragedy telling me that Fat Joe and him had problems, Fat Joe was mad at him, and blah blah blah. You know what I mean? He told me the story, it was something about Nori and whatever, you know what I'm saying? But they squashed it now, I obviously. Yeah. So what's this? Since we're talking about Fat Joe and and uh, and Pun and all of that, what's this new stuff that they're talking about about Remy Ma cheating on Papoose with some guy called Easy Easy the Block Captain, a battle rapper? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I never thought I never thought Remy Ma would cheat on Papoose, you know what I mean? Papoose has always been so good to her. Like, when she was in jail, I think she went for like eight years. She did, she did like seven, eight years, right? She did seven, eight years. And, um, freaking, um, he held her down. He stayed loyal. I mean, you never heard of him hanging out with no other chick. And then you know how bad he wanted to have a baby with her. And she never wanted she never wanted to have a baby with him until finally she she decided she decided to have a baby with him. But he was like suffering, like have a baby with me, please. He, he had to, like, beg her. You know what I'm saying? And then she started starting her own battle rap thing. And, um... And now we, we, we're hearing these rumors about her cheating. Cheating on him with, uh... With a battle rapper. You know what I mean? Um... I've heard they've had their issues. Papoose and her. But, uh... I never heard nothing like this, you know what I'm saying? I hope it's not true. I mean, if it is, it is. What are you going to do? Papoos need to move on then. Let's keep it moving. Don't shoot her in the foot like Tory Lanez, you know what I'm saying? You're going to end up shooting yourself in the foot. You heard? Nah, I'm just playing, but... You no, know, man, keep it peaceful and just keep it moving, you know what I mean? Remy Ma is a legend, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, 
I guess they're gonna have to show us some love and hip hop. What's going on, you heard? You know what I'm saying? Maybe it will be on love and hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they do on love and hip hop, right? I mean, maybe that's where it stems from. Love and hip hop. You know what I'm saying? You know everybody that go on love and hip hop cheats. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that you're supposed to, to cheat on love and hip hop. You won't get a check if you don't cheat. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Heck to the tech to the get those checks, baby. Word. Anyway, salute to everybody watching. You know what I'm saying? I'm back to attack with more videos for y'all. Uh, we're going through a rough time, really rough. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to talk about it one of these days. Uh, man, y'all don't even want to know. Y'all don't even want to know. But how does the fresh haircut look, though? When I look like a baby? Shoot. Heck, tech, prettiest gangster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all, man. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. Um, like and share. And, um, Go support your kid. Support my new single. Watch that ass. All right? Because it's banging. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.